For those who are Korean and those who specifically want to date people from a Korean descent, this website is proving to be quite popular. Hey, welcome to Online for Love, your number one resource for dating by the numbers. Today we're going to be going over Korean Cupid, a website that, as I said, is dedicated to those who are interested in dating Koreans. Now, right off the bat, if this doesn't sound like the perfect online dating website for you, don't worry, I've got a great solution to that, and that's by taking our online dating website quiz. This quiz will ask you some personal preference questions as to what you're looking for in an online dating experience, and at the end of that quiz, it'll let you know exactly what that perfect online dating website is for you personally. If you'd like to take this quiz, you can do so by jumping down into to the description down below or by clicking on the link that's popping up above my head right here. And after you've taken that quiz, be sure to check out our deals page. Our deals page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, who the heck doesn't, be sure to check out our deals page again in the description down below or by clicking on the link popping up above my head right here. Now, in order to make this review a bit easier to comprehend, I've broken it down into these five different sections. The first of which being the user demographics, then the ease of use, the pricing, the key features, and the success rates. So without further ado, let's jump into number one on the list, which is the user demographics. If it wasn't obvious enough, this website is for any person who is interested in dating somebody who is Korean. Users on this site seek both casual and serious relationships, though because of the long distance nature of this website, it's not really for hookups. Here's a breakdown of user numbers based on my research. Korean Cupid has around 700,000 users around the globe. Of those 700,000 users, around 200,000 come from the United States. Most users, both male and female, are from Korea. Around 50,000 users are active each week, and that makes it to be roughly 7,000 active users a day, or 200,000 active users a month. While it's yet to hit the magical 1 million user mark, Korean Cupid is well on its way there, and that's for sure. The male population of websites like these usually take up the majority of the website, and that's also true for Korean Cupid as well. The male to female ratio is 60 to 40, which is actually a lot closer than I thought it would be. As far as what the user's age ranges are, I've broken it down from the most popular to the least popular. So the most popular age range at 38% of users are users who are age 35 to 44, then 33% of users are age 25 to 34, then 25% of users are age 45 to 54, then only 3% of users are aged 18 to 24, and only 1% of users are age 55 years or older. If we were going to break down the age range based on gender, very generally speaking, you'll find that the female population of the website definitely dominates the ages of 18 to 34, where the male population of the website dominates the ages of 35 to 55 plus. Regardless though, there are still plenty of both sexes and both age ranges for you to find. Now this is going to move me onto number two on my list, but before I jump into that, I did want to ask you guys to make sure you are hitting like and subscribe. Seriously, it really does help us out with that YouTube algorithm and it helps push our video out so more more users can get great information from us here at Online for Love. So we super duper appreciate that like and subscribe. So this is going to move on to number two on my list, which is the ease of use of Korean Cupid. Becoming a Korean Cupid user by registering for and completing your profile is not something that's going to take you very long. That's because Cupid Media sites are so well designed and super efficient. Within a couple of minutes, you could be browsing for a Korean matchup. It really takes next to no time to get up and running. If you decide to sign up using social media, it's a simple one-click registration process that cuts out the need to provide your password or username as per the regular website method, although that really doesn't take up much of your time either. If you use social media or register the normal way, there are a few details that you will still need to provide to Korean Cupid to help complete your profile and tell them just what you are looking for when it comes to a matchup. The information they need is preferred gender when it comes to the matches that you are looking for, as well as the age range you want those matches to be between. You will also have to provide Korean Cupid with your age because remember, you will appear in other user searches as well. When it comes to finding your way around Korean Cupid, it's pretty simple. If you've ever used a Cupid Media dating site before, you're in for a treat because they are all just about exactly the same. It's really just the color scheme and the user base that's differentiating between different Cupid Media websites. Honestly, it's a slick design when compared to other online dating websites, and it easily wins in terms of looks, but perhaps more importantly, overall ease of use. The first thing you'll notice is the menu bar on the top of the screen. This is where you'll mostly go to navigate all the different aspects of Korean Cupid. The main menu that you will find are 1. Matches. Here, Korean Cupid provides you with a host of matches based on your unique details. 2. Is search. Here, you can launch a number of different search and filter features. 3. Is messages. All of your incoming messages, as well as any that you've sent, are kept here. 
And lastly is activity. And there's a treasure trove of information to be found here, including who has sent you a like, who has favorited your profile, and even who has viewed your profile. You'll also notice there's a particular number on the left-hand side of the page as well. This indicates the number of users who are currently online. Click on it and it will take you to a search style return of those users where you can quickly browse their profiles and see if there's someone who find to be compatible with. When it comes to making searches on the website, Korean Cupid provides an advanced parameter search. With this, you can search for when somebody was last logged in. And with this information, it's super important because you don't want to be matching with people who haven't logged in for an entire year, for example. You can see if they have a photo, uh, what their location is, their appearance parameters like height, weight, body type, hair, and eye color, lifestyle parameters like if they drink or smoke, if they're willing to relocate, if they have or want children, and their background and cultural parameters like their religion and language. There's so much you can set to your liking here to help you bring up matches that are the closest to what you were looking for. But this isn't the only way to search on Korean Cupid. There's also another unique search feature that you will find in all Cupid Media dating sites, and that's Cupid tags. You can think of Cupid tags like hashtags that you would attach to your profile. So if somebody was looking for somebody who is loyal, for example, and you know you are loyal, you can put the loyal hashtag on your profile. So when somebody searches loyal, your profile will come up. Another type of method that they have for search profiles on here is reverse and mutual matches. Now reverse matches is for when you're looking for other users who are seeking somebody who is like you. So for me, for example, if someone was seeking someone who's brown haired and green eyed, I would come up for them, but they might not necessarily be something that I am looking for. And that's where mutual match comes in. So mutual match is basically the same exact concept, except we both fit each other's descriptions of what we're looking for. Do keep in mind though that reverse matches and mutual matches or something that is reserved for Platinum members. When it comes to making contacts with other users on the website, there's a few ways to go about this. Uh, free users can like and favorite other profiles, but in order for you to actually message other profiles, you are going to have to sign up for a premium membership. So this is gonna lead me onto the question of the day. And the question of today is, what is your favorite K-pop group? Let me know in the comments down below. I think I have to say that mine is Blackpink. So this is gonna move me onto number three on my list, which is the pricing of Korean Cupid. So you can sign up for the website for free, but there are many key features that are going to require you to sign up for a paying membership in order to make contact with other users. In fact, you can't really contact other users that much unless you do sign up for a premium membership. And Korean Cupid actually comes with two different types of, of premium memberships that you can choose from, and that's gold and platinum. Platinum being the more higher tier of membership and gold being the lesser tier membership. If we were to look at the free members' abilities, they can do things like basic matching, liking, and communicating with specifically only paying members. Gold members, on the other hand, can do all of that. Plus, they can communicate with all members, live chat with an instant messenger, send and receive messages, they have no third-party ads, and they can hide their profile and browse anonymously if they so choose. And Platinum members can do all of the above, plus they will also rank above other members, double their profile space, VIP profile highlighting will be featured to them as well, they have advanced matching algorithms available, and it will automatically translate their messages into their spoken language. So if we were going to talk about prices, the prices of the gold membership look like this. For one month, it would cost you $30.98. For three months, it would cost you $59.99 or about $20 per month. And for a 12 month membership, it would cost you $119.99 or $10 per month. And if we were to look at the platinum membership prices, they would look like this. For $35.99, it will give you one month of membership. For three months of membership, it would be $69.98 or roughly $23.33 a month. And for a 12 month membership, it would cost you a total of $149.99 or $12.50 per month. I think that the pricing for Korean Cupid is pretty fair considering it is a niche dating website. So if this isn't something that you're looking for, if you're not specifically looking to date somebody who is Korean, then obviously it's going to look expensive to you. But if you want every single one of your matches to be somebody who is of Korean descent, then this is pretty much going to be your best option to do that. And the little bit of an extra price point to pay for that is I think worth it. But with that being said, no matter what online dating website you decide to sign up for, you should definitely check out our deals page beforehand. Our deals page holds multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you wanted to save yourself some money, no matter what online dating website you're going to sign up for, just be sure to check out our deals page first. So this is going to move me onto number four on my list, which is the key features of Korean Cupid. What are you able to do as a user? And I think it's important actually to go over the features that you're able to do as a free user first. As a free user, you can send messages, but only to certain paying members. Uh, you can like other users' profiles to which they will receive a notification. You can favor other profiles. You can use extra search parameters to fine tune your matchups and returns. And you can see who has viewed, like, or favorited your profile. 
These next features I'm gonna go over though are specifically for users who are paying members. So let's go over the first one. And the first one is extensive messaging. So the first and probably the most important aspect of membership is the fact that you can message anybody, not just paying members. And that means you're open to a ton more potential of matchup options. The next feature they have is privacy. As a member, you have privacy options at your disposal. For example, so you choose to, you know, you can take your profile offline, which means it doesn't show up in other searches. And that also means that should you view another person's profile, they actually won't get notified of that. The next feature they have that I mentioned earlier was the mutual and reverse matchups. So again, reverse matchups, is if you conduct a search, you're going to see a bunch of people who are looking for who you are specifically. And if you look up mutual matches, then you're going to find people who are both something that you're looking for and you're something that they're looking for. And the last feature I want to mention is VIP profiles. So as a member, you can make your profile that of a VIP. What that means is that if another user were to conduct a search and you show up in their returns, you will appear as one of the top profiles in their returns before regular users. It's easily the best way to get yourself noticed, that's for sure. This is a feature that's specifically available only for platinum members. So even if you did sign up as a gold member, you won't be able to access this feature. So this is going to move me into number five on my list which is the success rates of Korean Cupid. But before I jump into that, I did want to ask you guys to make sure you are hitting like and subscribe. Really does help push our videos out so that more users can get more information from us here at Online for Love. So this is going to move me into number five on my list, which is the success rates of Korean Cupid. How successful will this website be for you? And to that, I have to say it depends on a few factors. The first and most important factor, I think, is based on your location. If you are located in either Korea or you're located in the United States, you're going to have much higher chances seeing seeing as most users are based in these areas. And then outside of that, if you're going to try and find somebody who's based around the age of 25 to 44, and you are within that age range as well, most users on this website are also within that age range, so it's going to just help your chances more. And lastly, of course, if you are looking for somebody who is Korean, that is pretty much a must on this website. If you're not looking for that, then this definitely will not be the best website for you to be choosing. But with all that being said, if you still don't feel like this is the perfect online dating website for you, don't worry just take our online dating website quiz. This quiz will ask you some personal preference questions as to what you're looking for in an online dating experience. And at the end of the quiz, it'll let you know exactly what that perfect online dating website is for you personally. Now, after you've taken that quiz, be sure to check out our deals page. Our deals page hosts multiple different online dating website discounts for multiple different online dating websites. So if you'd like to save yourself some money, who the heck doesn't, be sure to check out our deals page. Now, with that being said, if you guys want to see any more videos from us, you can check out one of the two popping up on my left and right here. I did want to ask you guys a question of the day one more time, which is what is your favorite K-pop group? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you guys could just leave a like and subscribe, we'd super duper appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.